Gonna go running down. It's 6 30 a.m. I'm trying to run five to eight miles every morning because I think it's a great way for me to start my day. Running is extremely therapeutic for me and I woke up extremely anxious because I did not want to see people in person. I was not prepared mentally for in-person classes. It helped me shake off some of the anxiety because I was so exhausted afterwards that I just could not think. And that helped me approach my day in a more direct way that wasn't so analytical and overthinking. Call you Mona Lisa. I cannot put your picture on my wall. I just wanna know. Can I be with you? Let me take it far. My first class started at 9 a.m. and it was my Art 110 drawing for Art and Design class. It was super fun and we did some fun exercises that I'll talk about now. I just came back from my first class. It was Art 110. Um, it was supposed to be from 9 to 11.40 is like the time slot that we're given. But we only went to like 10.15 which was really chill. My professor is so kind. She's the best. And the class should be really interesting. It's a lot of basics. And today we did an exercise where there was like a renaissance painting and it was just like a portrait of this woman. And she was upside down so we drew her like upside down and at the end we all flipped it right side up to see if we rendered the image as close to the picture as possible. And mine turned out so bad. Um, definitely had a small breakdown after that. At first I was like, okay, it's kind of going well, whatever. And then I flipped it. And when I tell you my jaw dropped, it dropped. Luckily masks are required and so no one could see my expression. But when I tell you I wanted to die in that moment, <laughs> I mean it. But other than that, it was pretty chill. If you're like an art art person, you know that exercise is like super, super common and like very rudimentary and basic. I could not do it. Nope. However, things are looking up and the class is super nice because it's people from all different backgrounds. So a lot of people are not even art majors. Some people are in neuroscience, communications, business. Like you have like everyone like grouped together in this one class, which is really nice. So we're purely learning the basics. So it's a very judgment-free zone, but you can judge yourself really harsh. Not even harsh, it was just bad. Um, but it's okay. I'm now gonna do some work for Bubble House. It's my part-time job. And that should take around like 45 minutes. And after that, I'm gonna go to lunch and go to my next comm class, which is comm 204. It's public speaking. Um, let's see if I have to speak publicly, but hopefully not. Okay, I'm gonna go for real now. Goodbye. Love y'all. See you soon. Also, I'm narrating this a week later. FYI, FYI. After work, I went to the dining hall to eat some lunch, and I also went to class, Calm 204, public speaking. And honestly, it seems like a pretty fun class, except I'm not the best public speaker. I actually hate public speaking and literally start sweating in front of people, and I get really anxious. And so I don't know why I took this class, but I did. When the class was all finished and done, I went back home to my apartment and I just chilled out for a bit. I watched Adventure Time. It was really great. Um, Adventure Time is so good. I have a poster of it on my wall reminding me how good it is. And all of my art inspiration comes from Cartoon Network, so I just love catching up on those old series.
Around 5.45 p.m. I left for my last class, which was Art 280 Studio Critique. The class literally went from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and we literally just set up objects and talked about them the entire time. So, here's my hat scrunchie on his head. Our assignment going into the class was to have everyone bring in an object that was special to them or meant something, and that's a pretty standard assignment, and I thought, oh my god, this is like any other class, we're just gonna talk about each person's object for like 5 minutes each. Mm, no. <laughs> Not the case. We talked about everyone's object the entire time, for almost 3 hours, and it was so philosophical, existential, it was crazy. Like, it was insane. And you may be wondering, oh my god, what did you bring? Let me tell you. I brought this really cute Paul Revere bear. It's so fun and fresh. So let me just pop off for a second, y'all. Let me just explain to you what this object was about and the types of conversations that went into this art class. I brought a Paul Revere bear that my distant aunt gave me a really long time ago, and I think she intended it for it to be a symbol of almost patriotism because it is Paul Revere bear. But as a little kid, I didn't understand what Paul Revere meant in the context of like patriotism in America, and so I just enjoyed it because it was super cute, and then I just left it to the side of my room. However, years later, I rediscovered it and I used it in my portfolio for college the first time, which got rejected. We know this already. Oh. And after getting rejected, I used the Paul Revere bear again in my other portfolio for USC that got accepted. And so it's super interesting to me looking back on how this symbol kind of manifested its way from being patriotism to now subject matter that was in my art portfolio, which for me now represents resilience because I used it in my rejected portfolio but then tried again for the accepted portfolio. And then on top of all that, I was like, wait, kind of ironic because even though the symbol diverged and manifested in different ways from my brain, it kind of went back to the original intent of like what America is about which is kind of like grit and perseverance and following like your dream and this symbol serves that for me just not in the patriotism way that it was intended to because it's Paul Revere Oh, does that make sense? I literally have no idea. I don't think it did make sense, but that was the entire conversation. And before I said any of this, everyone had to guess what people's objects were about and my professor, she was like You found this on your way to class in the trash and I was literally like, no, I didn't. I literally didn't. I literally have had this for like years, literally more than a decade. She didn't mean it, like to be mean or anything. It was just kind of funny that she thought that. Anyways. After I got home around 9.15 p.m., I ate some dinner. I cooked myself a little burger moment with avocado, bacon, and a little salad on the side. And before I went to bed, I had some little fun, y'all. I wasn't just work, work all day. And I hung out with friends the rest of the night, and that was that. So that was my first day at USC. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, like the video. If you have a fun comment, critique, or joke to share, comment it down below. I always respond and I always see your guys' comments because we are a small, tiny community here. And if you like me, my art, and want to follow my journey as an art student in LA, you can subscribe. It's a fun time. And I think that's the end of the video, y'all. That's the end of the video.